Hi guys, this is my second video. Um, it's not going to be about anything amazing to be honest. Um, my operation is tomorrow at 12 o'clock and I am actually extremely excited. I was quite nervous the past couple of weeks but I kind of feel like it's wearing off a little bit more. I'm more excited for it. Um, I've spoken to a lot of people now who have said, you know, being put to sleep isn't that bad because that was the main thing that I was worried about, which is ridiculous. Um, but people said, you know, sort of you fall asleep, you don't know what's going on, you wake up and then they're there. So I'm quite looking forward to it. Um, I really just wanted to talk about what I'm taking with me. I didn't know if people sort of wanted to hear this, but at first I didn't know what to take and I've been watching other people's vlogs as well. So um, I've got my massive Ted Baker bag here. Um, and really I think you know kind of what, I'm, what I'll be taking, it's just sort of the obvious isn't it really. Obviously all my paperwork, all my documents have to be signed. Um, got my like Ted Baker makeup bag here. Um, I'm bringing deodorant, toothbrush, tooth, toothpaste, a flannel, um, makeup wipes, bought hand cream, Vaseline and I have bought a little bit of makeup. Because I'll probably wake up, it looks like look like absolute crap. I want to silk my face out. So um, yeah. Um, obviously, I've got my Matcon bra and the breastband. I'm gonna get some sports bras as well. Because just a hint here as well. Um, I'm not sure if this lady who messaged me posted on the Facebook page as well. Um, but what happened was she wore her bra that was too tight and it made her stitches come undone. Um, obviously, because she was quite numb, she didn't feel this. So. I'm not going to mention any names or anything, but I just feel like you guys should know this as well. So if you feel like you've got a bra that's too tight, please make sure to get another one just in case because you just might as well. I couldn't think of anything worse than my stitches coming undone having to go back. Especially that it's all the way in London and I'm in like an hour away. So yeah. Not as far as you guys because I know a lot of you guys are flying somewhere and doing like Skype consultations and things. I could not do that. I would have to go there and see the surgery, meet the surgeon properly and know exactly sort of what I was putting my money down for and what I was actually going in for. But you guys are amazing because some of your results are great so it really sometimes doesn't matter, you know, how you do it, just, you know, just getting it done basically. Um, obviously I'm taking some loose fitting clothes, I'm going in sort of trackies, um, a tracksuit just to be comfortable really. Um, and that's pretty much all I'm taking. I mean, they've advised to take slippers and a dressing gown, so I'll take those with me. Um, but yeah, apart from that, I don't really feel like you need a lot. I'm obviously going the same day and should be coming home the same day. So again, I don't really need to take a lot of stuff with me. I don't need to worry about flying and things like that. Um, my other half has given me a lift down there, so I haven't really got anything else to worry about, to be honest. Um, I'm gonna go, because I've got work anyway, so that's why I'm trying to rush this video. But um, yeah, so I'll try and vlog tomorrow, we'll see what happens, if not I will vlog the day after and I'll hopefully get some pictures. I have also done an Instagram page so I'll post that below, there's not really much on it, it's really just to promote my um, YouTube channel. Um, I've never really done vlogs like this before so I thought it would be a really good idea just to kick off my YouTube channel and start off with these. I don't know if you guys have seen all my other videos but please check them out as well because um, yeah I think they're quite entertaining to be honest. But yeah, alright, bye!